Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Rock Collectors. And it's been 20 years since the momentous launch of the Sega Dreamcast. Though the console was only around for two years in North America, there were so many cult classics that reached phenomenal heights that are still loved today. The Dreamcast community is so vast and so great that there's still games being made as bootlegs and spin-offs of actual great games. And in that short two years, we also got to see so many great games either launch and take off to superstardom or games that literally just died with the system but still became cult classics. Games like Space Channel 5, Power Stone, Marvel vs. Capcom, of course Sonic Adventure, Fantasy Star version 1 and 2. This basically kind of kicked off console online gaming. This is like the granddaddy of all online games. It even tells you right off the bat to credit cards may be required to play this online. There was no you know, year long subscription. It was a month to month service that you had to pay for and play and it was phenomenal. One of the cult classics themselves, Jet Grind Radio. The house that 2K built, the 2K series, visual concepts knocked it out of the park with all their sports games. There was no wonder why EA put up a fighting chance up against visual concepts in Sega to not allow them to make more and more sports titles. The bizarre and quirky Seaman. Leonard Nimoy lends his voice as the narrator of your Seaman. And hearing his voice drop little quirky jokes here and there is, is something to be seen and to be heard, which is funny. Arguably one of the greatest RPGs on the Dreamcast and probably in existence, Skies of Arcadia. And of course, Shenmue. All those great games lends its hand to why the Dreamcast is a great console and over the 20 years why it leads to my favorite console of all time. My first game on the Dreamcast was Soul Calibur. I spent countless hours playing this game, trying to do the adventure mode and locking more and more suits and costumes for my characters and I actually had a blast doing this. The VMU games were so much fun and this goes down as probably one of the best fighting games, arguably, on the Dreamcast. 20 years and it's still thinking. It's hard to believe such a great console, internet out of the box, lasted only two years on the North American shelves. Sega's last foray into consoles was probably its swan song. Thank you Sega for contributing a piece of history in our gaming lives. Let me know in the comments down below which game actually set it off for you. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks guys.